basketball. We love that basketball. Mm, basketball. We love that basketball. Hey. Hey, you guys. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening to you. Uh, I got to make this video before this record get broken. Okay. Uh, a lot of y'all know how I feel about LeBron James. Uh, he's a Midwestern kid. Um, and I got love for him as far as uh, basketball is concerned. Uh, he's a great player. And, um, you know, he looks like a fullback out there running the, um, the break sometimes. But here's what I want to talk about, and that's the hoopla between him breaking the jabs record. Y'all want to know who I mean when I say the jab? That's jab, the jab bar. Kareem Abdul Jabbar. Um, and I got a serious problem with the NBA. It needed new faces. It needed to jazz up. So they had to have... Uh, I guess a new face, except for when it comes to that NBA logo. That's going to be Jerry West forever, and I don't need to tell you why. But they wanted to do to shake up the stats inside, the, in my opinion, inside the game. Because there is no way in hell y'all can actually, if you go by numbers, and if you go by stats, and if you go by how the game was played, you would put LeBron James ahead of Kareem. Yeah, I said it, and I meant it. And let's just start with the fact that Jabbar did all four years of college. Okay, and still got 38-something thousand points. LeBron never even went to college. So right there is all. He went straight from high school to the pros. See, if you want to have a comparison of who greater, that, you know, and it's got nothing to do with the old school hating on the new school. It's got something to do with this is some weak crap. It's so weak that you got to challenge it. Second of all, they changed the rule. Ain't nobody changed no rules for LeBron. It is what it is. They changed the rules for the jab. You couldn't even dunk the ball. He couldn't dunk. So, therefore, he uh, he was too good dunking the ball, so we're going to stop dunking and see what happens. There was no three-point line. Okay? So, when you look at how Jabbar scored his points and how he had to score them, there is no way unless you're a bona fide fool that you can compare the two players. One of them played in college for four years and still come out with 38,000 points. And you can hang on them, and you can fight, and you can be rough. And you want to talk about a league now that's so marshmallowy that you can't t put your hands on nobody. This boy went straight from high school, so his numbers started earlier. Ain't no rules ever been changed for him, but he gets the opportunity to break the Jabs record. You know what? Y'all can worship this guy and say, what you want to, but there's no way in my mind. And it's not like, listen, I, I'm, I'm from the town where, uh, Jabbar played his first high school. My, my brother and I, uh, I never forget when he had the Luau, the Jabbar's out. No, they were called the Luau Cinders. We stood in line. I believe we were the only black kids in line buying these pair of shoes because we love basketball that much. And he actually talked to us for a minute. We had him and we had Lucius Allen, who they were uh, uh, very personable guys way back. Uh, Jabbar, again, was a rookie coming in, and he signed autographs at the Boston store in Milwaukee. Okay, so I've been following the Jabs career from that long, even though we were kids, little kids ourselves. All right? But what I'm trying to make plain is that you can't compare the playing grounds. You can't even play. Once a person don't go to college and once a person does, that's four years chopped off right there. 
So if you want to know the truth, Jabbar, I mean, LeBron wouldn't have half as many of those points then had he not went had he went to college. Y'all got to use some discrepancy here. Y'all, I mean, and y'all got to use some uh, common sense. The rules have changed too much to allow uh, uh, this rule, this um, record to be broken by LeBron James. I think it's totally unfair. Um, and as far as I'm concerned, you can look at the stats and y'all going to see LeBron James up there. But it was two different eras and there's no way in hell you can compare one of them that didn't go to college and one of them that did. One of them that didn't shoot nothing but a complete hook shot with no three-point shot. Yet and still, he managed to score 38,000-something points. It, to me, the jab is always going to be the greatest. Now, whether I agree with him philosophy-wise, that's a whole different story. But I will tell you, as far as I'm concerned, he's still the leading scorer in the NBA. And nobody going to break his record. Um, because ain't nobody built like that no more. And the game ain't built like that no more. So I want to hear y'all opinions because I know y'all gonna y'all ain't going to like that, especially y'all LeBron worshipers. But Le, LeBron, to tell you the truth, he couldn't hold Jabbar's uh, jockstrap. He really couldn't. Sorry, Bronny, but that's just the way it go. And it's a travesty that they letting you break his record because it shouldn't be broken. Shouldn't be broken. And with that being said, I'm going to leave it for y'all to leave your comments. And I'll see, here, see you and hear you in the next video. I had to get that off my chest.